Discovering True Agony. Arma 3, Command and Conquer by Rubik's Raptor. I'm very curious where Rubik's Raptor's uh, cinematography is going to go in this. I'm very curious. Howdy. Been sitting here trying to think of an intro for this video, though the first thing I got to say is, boy, this operation is very orange. Uh, so adjust orange. your eyes accordingly. Secondly, yeah. this video is full of absolute anarchy, glory for the Brotherhood of Nod, and strangely, a call around the 2007 Disney movie Ratatouille star. Why does that make sense, though? If there was a movie that had a cult around it, it would be Ratatouille, wouldn't it? I can totally see that, actually. I hate that I can see that. I can totally see that now. And an animated rat that can cook. That sounds a little more deranged than usual. It's because it was. We drank this stupid juice today, and I hope you can excuse my endless bouts of hyena <laughs> laughter. If you really want a lore background for this op, we are playing as Nod, tasked with destroying a GDI prototype weapon. How that mission turned into such a catastrophe is beyond me. I hope you enjoy watching Mental Degradation on a rapid time scale, and I will see you around. Chat is like, how does that make sense to you? I literally, I can't describe it. It just makes sense that it would be Ratatouille. Like, I have trouble formulating the words, but it totally makes sense. The game was rigged from the start, Remy. <laughs> yeah, I, I need some. Are you opening a cold one? <laughs> Crack it open, a cold one. <laughs> yeah, go farther. <laughs> I, nah. Jesus, those oh, irons. Man. He's just out there. <laughs> He's just <laughs> decaying. <laughs> Dude, we deep fried Mocha. He's gone as hell. What if I, what if I just dead man switch Buddy right here? now? You'd cop a one week suspension is what would happen. Why does your character look so fucking suave? Did you get <laughs> Oh, that lip tracking. Oh, that was so good. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> I'm being hit with the Ratatouille soundtrack. What is happening over there? Okay, who's the third Jeez. squad? I'm color coding them. You can definitely easily read it on the right. Why didn't you just type it out, Terry? Why are you actually writing it with your mouth? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's a mood. <laughs> Tonk. <laughs> Make sure the fanatics don't explode on our one truck that we get. All right, black hat here. We're not doing any oh. <laughs> any more infantry? What you you're doing over water, here, Terry? Water, oh, wow, that was a quick down. <laughs> <laughs> no! Someone revived the man with the dead red switch. Oh no! Oh no! He gonna blow up. He gonna blow up Dark Souls 2 style. This is just making me want pizza. Rubix, how could you do this to me? You absolute mad lad. I love you for it because I will always crave pizza, but now I really want pizza. <laughs> Yeah, we got the microwave launcher up there. <laughs> they hit him with the microwaves. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. They microwaved me! They microwaved me! <laughs> you know that you can legally ask them to stop and they will. <laughs> they didn't make it. They did it. Chat, chat has now engaged in deep dish meat lovers pizza. I'm thinking pizza. So I got Kalamata olives, though. I don't know why this is relevant to the reaction, but it's good. You know what? It's Rubix. Rubix brought up pizza. I had Rubix comment on one of the videos once. And I, dude, that absolutely wonderful, dude. Absolutely just legendary, dude. Thank you for all you do if you're seeing this. Um, now because he brought up pizza. I got Kalamata olives. I've been itching to use on something. It was like seven bucks for this container. And I'm like, damn, I kind of want, I kind of want this on pizza now. It's in pizza. Or spaghetti is what I'm thinking. It's because Ratatouille got brought. Up. See, you see, this is how this is how it happens, chat. This is how you get a cult over Ratatouille. This is precisely the reason. Suddenly, you know, you're you're just you're just watching, you know, the dude try to get res because he's got a dead man switch on him, and suddenly you're talking about pizza, and it goes from pizza to pasta, and suddenly you're talking about Ratatouille. See, this is how the cult begins. <laughs> Hill. Why is that guy taking so many shots? Jesus. Oh, it crashed him. It crashed him. <laughs> He'll ever just take so much damage, you just DC from the lobby. <laughs> Why are you out there? I think they're dead. <laughs> Don't go over the hill. <laughs> 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 
just witnessed the entire defensive wake up. Damn. I need. I, oh, gee. Oh. oh my God. Yeah, I'm gonna have to watch out for the copyright. Chat's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we lost him! <laughs> oh. I made the mistake of going on this hill of death. Oh. <laughs> the tank is dead. Uh, that have already been done. Hey guys, <laughs> there's a death laser hey, over sure. here. He did a flip, hey yo. <laughs> he do a trick. There's a trick. <laughs> <laughs> that is a rail gun. <laughs> it's too good. I love it. It's perfect. Oh, man. <laughs> They're gonna shut up. No. no. Oh. <laughs> Standard Ignis strategies. Casualties maximum is in fact at play here. You are correct. Working, <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, my heart is uh, Just, just give that man a bayonet. He'll be fine. <laughs> he, he's, he's clearly got the uh, the drive. He's clearly got the intensity. Just give him a bayonet. Call it good. Hey, there's a, there's a mammoth tank right there. He's running at it. He's going. <laughs> <laughs> See, he made it almost. <laughs> We've lost one. <laughs> We've lost one. <laughs> Oh my god, bless Argentina. I, I may have gotten exploded. What? Uh, oh. Wait a minute. Small, small bike. Small bike. Small bike. There was a whole range of emotions with those last three, those last three sentences of small bike. Confused. Concerned. Accepting. <laughs> Holy shit. He's oh, screaming like, over there. Looks like a Zentrea bike, actually. Kind of cool. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, that's oh. Tron, yeah, that too. Oh! Enemy aircraft inbound. Oh. <laughs> I do appreciate the little RuneScape sound effects. Like, it's, it's one of those weird things that it's so niche in my brain. And, like, obviously, I wasn't the only one that played RuneScape Circo, you know, what, 2008-ish, right? RuneScape 2 when it was called RuneScape when it was RuneScape 2, right? But man, some of those noises just bring back like nostalgia. And it's like because Rubik's puts those in intentionally. So I feel like Rune's he's he's definitely run across or at least frequented RuneScape at a certain point in time. And I absolutely love it. Strange looking dog. I actually used to stream RuneScape pretty regularly. But then I kind of fell out of it. I don't know. Maybe I'll pick it up again one day. Who knows? Yeah, just, just shoot the dog. Oh my god, it's a capybara. Hey, oh. oh my god, Capybara? Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Chat, hold up. I got this. I got this. Give me a second. Uh, give, give me a second here. I got this. Hey, oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god, it's a Capybara. There we go. Give it a second. I need to not get muted. Give it a second. Ah, oh, it's not the one I was looking for. Damn it! I fucking ruined the meme. I ruined it. You saw it live. I scuffed it on stream. I will. I will take that fat L. I needed to take an L at some point. Uh, it's getting away. Let's go with the oh, my God. meme. Oh shit! <laughs> I've ordered Mocha suicide bombs. Uh, oh my God! Here comes Mocha. I actually <laughs> ruined it. No. Cringe is actually the word that you could use in the comment section for that. Yes. Okay, get him. Did he flip it? <laughs> Charge across the field. He can't shoot all of us. Ah! It, it definitely could, yeah. Uh oh, it's got the big ones out. That is the least friendliest capybara. Sorry. No, that's the second least friendliest capybara I've ever met. No, I'm not willing to extrapolate on that. <laughs> oh, I'm a car six looking very nice. Oh my God. That's so close. Uh oh, go away. Only a little bit. And look, it's on fire. 
We yeah, won. Whoa. Cool. That is pretty cool. What happened? <laughs> Did you see it? He <laughs> around the Half-Life 2 rocket and directs it back into us. No way. Oh. Oh. Please. Oh, I dubstep. beamed him. I didn't know I needed dubstep artillery. We got this in the defense budget. <laughs> It's gonna be a pain. Oh my God. <laughs> I got hit by seven goddamn GBUs. You know what? And he tanks that. He ate that for breakfast. The absolute Chad. It was, if I did walk away like two inches, I would. Is that a man? <laughs> Just a stupid round of two. <laughs> I told I you the cult saw, makes sense. Get launched into our low atmosphere. He's gone. Hey, how is gone it forever. Oh. It's no. bad in here. I got my answer. It's <laughs> 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 so much. Awful. Hey, yo. <laughs> We're bringing you to the coconut dog. We're going in. We're going in. There it is. <laughs> Keep carrying him! <laughs> 10 seconds! No, no! It's been real, everyone. Oh, shit. Yeet! On! It's on! Perfect. <laughs> well, time to use my 38 hand grenades. 38 hand grenades. God, I respect it, because I would do that. Oh my god, they exploded. The crate is falling. <laughs> Was that a beam? Is that a beam? Is that a space beam? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> and here I was about to say, was that minimal casualties to AO? And then the space beam happened. Oh, my God. It, it's it's perfect. Now, he still puts out great content. I mean, it's it's less cinematic than some of his more recent works, but it's not a, it's not a bad thing. I liked how carefree this was. I liked how many memes were packed into this. He and the rest of uh, Ignis Core just bring a really good vibe out, and it's been really cool to see how much he's grown in just a short time. I've been reacting to him because I remember when he was what three thirty, three forty. He's already up another twenty thousand. It's so awesome to see creators like this just grow. Because I mean. We're all here at the end of the day to have fun. Yeah, sure, there's money involved, absolutely. We're all here at the end of the day to have fun. And I love that Rubik's just keeps feeling genuine and he just keeps, keeps going for it. And uh, it, it's been awesome to just watch him. But if you're seeing this Rubik's, you absolute legend. Keep up the great work. You definitely inspire a lot of people. And uh, I love a lot of the content-isms that you bring to the table, the RuneScape sound effects, namely. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think about the episode? What do you think about, uh, about this mod? What do you think about Arma 3? You know in the comments and I will see you in the next time.